Thank you again for joining us for day two of the 2019 Twin Cities Film Fest. We are here on the Ballard Spa red carpet. I am Ms. Shannon, and we are in the midst of talking to our writers, directors, principal performers in the All the Wrong Places shorts block, which, uh, first of all, is sold out, so we always have to make sure that everybody can find your film afterwards. But a member of that, and the thing that's interesting about all the films that are in All the Wrong Places is there are so many different stories that are told about how did I get here and what do I do now that I'm here? And the film Black Hat is definitely one of those films. So to tell us about their short film Black Hat, we have Sarah Smith, the director, and Philip Gutman, the writer. So thank you very much for sharing your film with us at the Twin Cities Film Fest. I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah. So tell everybody a little bit about Black Hat. Well, Black Hat is about a Hasidic man who uh, is married with two children and his wife and two kids go out of town uh, one weekend and so he ventures out into the night and goes to a gay bar and then loses his black hat. So when you're saying, okay, I want to tell a story about this particular community, how do you go, how do I write it? And do you, did you flash yourself into that community? Did you do a lot of research? How did that work for you, Philip? Well, actually, I had been lucky enough that I worked in the community years earlier. Um, aside from being a writer, I'm also a social worker. When I was training as a grad student, I had an internship working with an organization in New York that helped ultra-religious Jews who no longer wanted to be religious. So I had worked with people in that community, so I had a little sense um, firsthand. Also, I'm Jewish. I'm not religious. There's a difference, but I, there is a similarity as well. So it's, it's, there's sort of an overall culture that I'm familiar with, but I'm still an outsider, so it's sort of a mix of both. We did actually hire a cultural consultant. Well, I have a friend who is from that community. He's gay and he's no longer in that community, but he grew up in that community and knows it well. So it was a little bit of balancing my own experiences and people from the community giving us their feedback. Because the film really does seem a lot about your primary character's exploration and kind of straddling these two worlds and trying to decide who he is. So when you were trying to weave that storyline, what was your main impetus for when you wanted to tell that story? Um, well, I think we didn't want to judge the choices of the community with regards to LGBT. And we also knew that he was struggling with his religion as much as he was with his sexuality. So that was, I think, the fulcrum of our storytelling. Well, it was a wonderful film. It fits in so well with our All the Wrong Places block. And as I said, this particular block is sold out. So I know that there were some people that couldn't get tickets. So are they going to be able to find Black Hat out there in the wild? Yeah, if you go to Black Hat... Uh, movie.net <laughs> um, blackhatmovie.net <laughs> uh, it lists all of our upcoming screenings and then you can request you know we might be able to provide a screener if people request one with this kind of film is there anything that as you were creating it you're like wow we ended up in a place that I'm not sure we were or we learned something that I wasn't expecting uh, <laughs> yeah I mean I I think in terms of the story I I think that um, there's all kinds of things that it's more, you know, seeing how the audience has reacted to it. We've been to several film festivals and there's always sort of an interesting uh, reaction from people. Sometimes people are empathetic in a way we wouldn't have expected. Sometimes people are more upset or it's more provocative for people than you would have expected. So, but I think the point for both of us is to create dialogue and to challenge people, at least to challenge their thinking and their comfort levels. So... If we do that, then we're halfway there, I think. Well, we're excited to bring back Black Hat to as many eyes and ears as possible. So we'll send them again to your website. It's blackhatmovie.net. Yeah. That net. And so do you have anything else fantastic going on that you want to leave people with? Uh, well, we just won Iris Prize. So yeah, we won the Iris Prize. Prize. Yeah. So. And we're looking forward to making another movie. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's... And we love Minneapolis and St. Paul, and we love the Twin Cities Film Festival. And we're both natives. From here, so. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for bracing your red carpet with this and for sharing your film with us. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Glad to be here. Everyone, make sure you go and you check it out, blackhatmovie.net. Thank you very much to Sarah Smith and Philip Gutman, and we can't wait to see your film in there. So enjoy it, and thank you for showcasing it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you for viewing. We will be back here on the Ballast Bar Twin Cities Film Fest red carpet in just a moment.